Do you know how John Williams orchestrated his music using just simple masses? So let's start learning. Normally, in orchestration lessons, instructors always recommend learning by analyzing the orchestral scores. That's true, I've used this method a lot too. But today we will do the opposite. Going back 40 years ago, we will see what Williams was thinking while orchestrating this piece and which masses have been used. Today we will learn just one orchestral texture by John Williams. In general, when a composer orchestrates the score, he always makes a plan. This plan helps to place the melody and the harmony lines in the correct registers and instruments. The important point is to achieve an effective timbre in the orchestra. The first step is to choose the instruments that are played the melody. The combination of the instruments which take the melodic line is called a device. Let's choose a three-part device for this texture. This means that the melody will be in three different registers. In our previous lectures, we have already learned how to get perfect sounds using just effective registers of the instruments. For this, let's use chart number one. So, the first violins are on the top. The second violins and violas are in the middle. The cellos play on the lower active. Then, let's double the violas with the first clarinet, while the cellos with the second clarinet. This device sounds like this. Now is the time to make an orchestral texture. The second step, the combination of transformed harmonic elements is called the texture. First, the amplitude registers in the score must be found. As I talked about in our previous lectures, harmony can be placed below the melody, between the melody, and above the melody. So here, under the cello part, there's a wide space to add a several part harmony. In addition, since the melody lines are arranged in actives, it's possible to fill in between them. However, adding harmony on top of the melody will not make sense because the first violins are in a fairly high register. Let's start from the bottom register. Since we already learned the spread and the horizontal break masses in our previous lectures, the magic of John Williams skills will be easily understandable. Let's spread the harmony under the melody. So, the harmony is the C major at 2 chord. Let's voice the close 4 part harmony within tuba, bass trombone and 2 tenor trombones and spread it under the melody. An add tone, D, will be used by other instruments. Sounds good. We apply the underlay variant of the spread method below the cellos. There is a free space between cellos and violas. We can interlay the broken harmony there. So, four French horns voice the close four part harmony between cellos and violas. Horns play the C major at two chord with the horizontal break method. This method helps to expand the texture in the horizontal direction, which is effective to add rhythm and energy to the music. Another excellent method is the vertical break, which will be explained in future lessons. It sounds like this. The lower chord also can be broken into several paths, depending on the need. Let's break it just into two parts. Now we replace the spread method with the horizontal break method. Sounds good. There is also free space between violas and the first violins where we can apply the horizontal break method. Let's interlay just close two-part harmony. Of course, three-part harmony also can be used instead of two-part if more tension is needed between the active melodies. 
I'm going to use just two part harmony. In addition, there are two ways. The first way is to make a something new pattern, which is different than the horns or low brass. The second way is to use the same pattern of the horns and double the top two notes with an active higher instrument. You can use two flutes or maybe two oboes. I prefer the second way and double the horn pass with the oboes and active higher. Now let me explain why the oboe is more suitable than flutes. The first reason is that the horns have dark, warm, blue and matte tone colors. On the contrary, oboes are quite hot and bright. If the horns are doubled with the oboes, the cost sound more audible. The second reason is because of the slow attack time of the horns in sound production. What does this mean? As you know, in our first lecture we talked about the ADSR meaning of the sounds. So, if analyzed, the horn is the instrument that has a slow attack time. And this property makes it lazy even with staccato playing. Generally, this problem is frequently solved by doubling the horn part with the string instruments so that they have a short attack time. In this way, the staccatos are sharpened and strengthened. The second most preferred instrument is the oboe, which is known for its short attack time. When the top notes of the horn pass are doubled and active higher oboes, the coast sounds more clear, bright and staccato. In conclusion, both ways are effective to accentuate the broken cause of the horn pass in the texture. Thus, two oboes double the top two notes of the horn part, E and G. Finally, the contrabassists play the bass line with the pizzicato technique. The timpani will be added just to add an introduction to the texture. So, John Williams has done the texture and will learn some of his orchestration techniques. If you want to learn how to find the best devices, how to get these elements, and which masses have been used, then let's join the Secrets of Orchestration course. For getting discounted prices, click the link below the video, or you can choose monthly payment method. What you will learn during two semesters. Part 1. Orchestral code voicings. In this part you will learn how to voice 3, 4, 5 and several parts harmony between woodwinds, brass and the string section. Part 2. Orchestral texture making. This part will be included lectures about how to find the best registers for solo instruments, how to use unison and active doublings, how to apply warm, cold and hot device to your melody, how to make an orchestral texture using different methods like the spread, stretch, break and so on. Part 3. Orchestral effects. Film scoring techniques is also included. In this part you will learn how to make orchestral effects, cause melodies in a different genre, such as comedy, drama, romantic, horror story and so on. During the course you will get new weekly lectures, PDF files and assignments. Once you finish the whole course you can easily make the device, textures and effects for the orchestral scores. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me at secretsoforchestration at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.